So this week's responding to your comments is all about sunburn. Josh OMOM commented, I went to the beach today and I've never had sunburn this bad. Please Abraham, make a video on how to get rid of and treat sunburn. Well, what we're waiting for. Hit that like button if you're fired up for this video. Let's go. So let's dive straight into tip number one, cool the skin. If you are watching this video right now and you're in the sun, you need to get out of the sun and go straight into the shade. Secondly, get under a cold shower. You need to start cooling down the skin. This is gonna help start reducing the pain and start the healing process that we're gonna talk about. I'm moving straight into tip number two, be gentle with your skin. Look, the skin is very fragile right now. So once you come out of the shower, Gently pat your skin dry with a towel. Do not rub vigorously. That's the last thing we want to do. Follow that up with moisturizer. Lots and lots of moisturizer. So moisturizer is our friend when it comes to sunburn recovery. Why you may ask? Well, moisturizer is simple. When you put it on, it traps the water within the skin. So it's going to keep it hydrated, prevent it from drying out and help with recovery. Now, this is a question that I always get asked. What moisturizer should you use? Generally speaking, any normal moisturizer will do. You can use any normal moisturizer. However, aloe vera is also really good because it has a cooling effect as well, okay? But normal moisturizers are just as good, it's just that aloe vera has that cooling effect, which makes it a bit nicer when you've got sunburn. Now, before we move on to the next tip, if you are enjoying this information right now, show some love by clicking that like button and leaving a comment below. Also, if you know someone that will find this information helpful, click that share button and share it with them right now because I'm sure they will appreciate that you're thinking of them. And moving swiftly on to tip number three, steroid creams. These can be very useful for areas of the skin that are super uncomfortable, okay? I would recommend using a mild steroid cream like hydrocortisone, for example. And remember, you have to use it very thinly, so a very small amount is actually required. So moral of the story is that steroid creams can be very good at reducing inflammation. But please remember, if you wanna use a steroid cream, you need to check with your healthcare professional if you're safe and suitable to use it. And diving straight into tip number four, avoid dehydration. Here's a fact for you that you might not know. When you get sunburned, your body draws fluid to your skin. This means you're going to lose more water, which means you're at a massive risk of dehydration. When you're dehydrated, it's going to make you feel super unwell. So increase your hydration, increase your water intake, especially when you have sunburn to avoid this. And moving swiftly on to tip number five, whilst you are recovering from sunburn, you've got to cover that skin. You've got to cover it so it can recover, okay? So make sure you're wearing suitable clothes over your skin to cover it. We need to wear tightly woven fabrics, basically. This means that it doesn't let light in and it doesn't allow the sunburn to get any worse. Now, normally I don't like to be the healthcare professional who's all doom and gloom, but sunburn is very serious. Look, the evidence says, Getting sunburn just once every two years can triple your risk of melanoma skin cancer. So it's very serious stuff, it's not a joke. And we need to make sure that we're taking the right precautions, wearing sunscreen, taking the right precautions when we're out in the sun to prevent burning. So here's some good news for you. I have a video all about sunscreen. <laughs> Buying the best sunscreen, picking the best sunscreen, what ingredients to look out for, how to use it, everything that you need to know to prevent you from burning. I'm gonna leave a link to it up here and in the description below, definitely give it a watch. Now, if you found this information helpful today, show some love and donate our team a cup of coffee. Simply press the thanks button below and donate whatever you can because your support will help us create more medical videos just like this one. Sending awesome vibes.